Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. You never know where numismatic coin crime, a precious metals crime, could take place. This time, it happened at a Starbucks. Let's explore! I'm going to be referencing an article here from CoinWeek.com, as was sent to me by Silver Honda. And this is a report that they have done through the Numismatic Crime Information Center. And, you know, precious metals crimes are certainly no shortage of those stories to be find, found out there, and probably a lot that is not reported. But this one's quite interesting, and just goes to show you that we can never be too careful in safeguarding our collections, for sure. And more than likely, you know, this is something that has been cased out and this dealer has been followed. But let's take a look at this thing here and see what this story is about. But we're also going to look at some other stories as well. From Groveland, Florida, the police department there is investigating a seizure of coins and silver bars incidental to an arrest of a drug suspect. This is why drugs are very bad. People get on those things, those drugs, and they typically are out of their mind and be able to do things irrationally or out of desperation in order to get their next hit. Um, logic and common sense and morality are out the window if all you need is your next fix. Officers recovered 93 Royal Canadian Mint silver bars and 45 tubes of Canadian maple leaves. Officers are attempting to locate any offense that involves the loss of the described silver bars and coins. And there you can see an image, although not the best images of those two products there, you can see. <clears throat> and then we have we have a cases where certified coins have been lost and stolen in the mail. A package being shipped from Fresno, California to Palos Verde, California, has been reported lost and stolen. The package was last scanned at the Fresno, California facility, but no further movement. The package contains the following, a 2006 W $10 burnished Platinum Eagle, uh, and then a 2006 W $25 burnished Platinum Eagle, and has the certification numbers there, all of these graded coins, a 2007 W $50 burnished Platinum Eagle, and then two 2007 W4 coin, $10, $25, $50, and $100 burnished Platinum Eagle sets, uh, MS-70 early releases, and then a 2008 W10 burnished Gold Eagle. So, wow, crazy. So that's what's been uh, lost or stolen in the mail. Hopefully they can recover those. Also stolen in transit from the Postal Service, a mail package being shipped from New York to Woodland Hills, California, arrived with the contents missing. Sometimes, sometimes it can happen in the mail. A 2008 four coin set of gold burnished American Eagles graded by PCGS as SP70 first strike. PCGS coin and number descriptions have been documented here. And this here says gold American Eagles, but then below it says burnished American Buffaloes. And that is an expensive set, so they are wrong here. <clears throat> it's not American Eagles or they're burnished American buffaloes. But here's this top story here. <clears throat> $100,000 worth of coins stolen at Starbucks. The El Cajon Police Department, El Cajon Police Department in El Cajon, California, is investigating the theft from a dealer who attended the recent El Cajon coin show. The dealer, Sheldon Lachur, stopped at a Starbucks in El Cajon after the show and took inside a rolling bag containing his inventory. Probably wise, probably thinking that more likely he, uh, that sometimes dealers are followed after coin shows uh, and the dealer and people are waiting for opportunities for maybe then to stop at a Starbucks or some restaurant and then they break into the car and steal the goods. Well, in this case, he had his goods with him in a rolling bag. Smart move. But while inside, suspects were able to steal his bag and flee the scene. The suspects ran into a white vehicle awaiting outside. 
No other information was available at the time. And here is a list of the goods that were taken from the bag. And you can see that there's a lot of good stuff in here. Wow. 1814 classic scent. An 1824 cat bust half dollar. Some Indian head scents. Some Morgan silver dollars with eight tail feathers. A good inventory of the other stuff too. Morgan dollars. A lot of Morgan dollars. Uh, toned 19, uh, MS67 toned uh, type 1 buffalo nickel. That's a nice coin. More Morgan dollars. Peace dollars. Mercury dollars. Jefferson Nichols, <clears throat> Roosevelt Dimes, Washington Quarter, Silver, Mint Airs, Rotated Dyes. Wow. Some good stuff there. What a shame. And more than likely, probably, him thinking that he's inside of a Starbucks where uh, it's a public place. People are there. Probably they have cameras inside the store. He probably had to go to the bathroom and left his bag there, thinking that there's no way somebody's going to be brazen enough to come in and steal a bag. But more likely, other people that are in the store, well, they're on their phones or on their tablets or laptops. They're not paying attention to who's sitting where or what they have with them. And more than likely, they didn't think anything of it. Hopefully, they have footage that shows the people going in and getting them. But more than likely, they're just disguised just enough, maybe with sunglasses and a baseball cap, they grab the coins and go. Grab the bag and go. They're in and out there literally within minutes, probably watching from the outside to see if or when the person is going to go to the bathroom and look at the opportunity. In a split second, they go in and grab them and take off. So there you go. Fascinating story indeed. Very sad. And I hope they catch the perpetrators. But there it is. Wow. So uh, that's your latest numismatic crime. We should be ever so diligent, and my prayer is that these people are caught, whether it be mail theft or whether it be brazen theft from within a Starbucks in broad daylight. Very interesting indeed. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I want to thank Silver Honda again for sharing this story with me. You know, I do like to do cover stories like this. I have a playlist of Precious Metals Crimes, for which this video will be a part. You can watch other of those videos as well if you're interested. And I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.